Rob Hickman with Advanced Flight Systems. We're here looking at the Advanced 5800 EFIS. Just walk us through some of the features and what's special about this, uh, about this display. Okay, this is our new 12-inch display. It's a high-resolution XGA display. It'll do engine, moving map, synthetic vision, ADSB weather, traffic, XM weather, music. It's all built in. We have geo-referenced approach plates, sectionals, IFR low, IFR high, and then our regular mapping, all built into one unit. So what is your basic customer that you see for this unit? We do quite a bit of LSA work and then a lot of experimental. So RVs, we're right five miles from vans, so a lot of the different vans aircraft actually have our units in them. Tell us about some of the advantages from your point of view on this unit as opposed to somebody else's avionics. So we've been in business since 99 and we got started doing engine monitors and then we developed the AF3500 which is a basic EFIS, no synthetic vision. And then we upgraded to the 4500 and then these are the new 5000 series. And through the years we were trying to simplify the user interface. So this unit has a much simpler menu structure. Everything can be done from the front. You notice there's three knobs and a joystick. So it makes it very low workload actually in the cockpit to adjust everything and select things. Now this unit is designed specifically to be able to work with the Rotax 912 ULS, correct? We can use anything from a 912 IS, the new engine with the CAN bus, it's all built in, all the way up to turbines. And what does that do then when people look at the display, what do they see? all the engine parameters from the engine. The new I-912IS, we actually do all the health for the lane A, lane B, and there's no extra boxes to actually configure or hook up. You just hook the two wires up and you have an engine interface. When you talk to people at shows like these, what are they telling you they'd like to see you put into some of the next versions of what's coming up? And I'm assuming that a lot of what you've got had done here is, has come from discussions with people that are actually using the product. The biggest thing we see is a simplified user interface. People are tired of deep menu structures and complexity, especially if you're IFR. You can't really be searching through menus. They want a simplified user interface. And then the ADSB is really popular, but we have that working. Navworks as well as Free Flight works with the unit. What else should we know about this 5800? Some of the neat things it'll do is most EVIS is to adjust the heading. You have to actually turn the knob to get to the heading. With ours, you can turn the knob, or if you hit the heading button, the bottom 11 keys become a keyboard and actually type in the heading. And the altitude, but it makes it much easier to use. Great. Well, Rob Hickman with Advanced uh, Flight Systems, thanks very much for talking with us on Aero TV. All right. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by... Are you ready for the next generation of light sport airplanes? Check out the all-new Bristol. Fun, fast, and easy to fly. Learn more at www.bristol.com. Pipistrel's innovative new Alpha Trainer has been designed from the ground up for flying school operations. Powered by a Rotax 80 horsepower engine, the Alpha burns only 2.5 U.S. gallons of fuel per hour at 100 to 108 knots, giving you the opportunity to make flight training cost-effective once again. Be sure to check out the Pipistrel Alpha when you're ready to select your next trainer. Get more info at pipistrel-usa.com. No other aircraft explores the limits of the light sport category more than the Carbon Cub SS. It can land and take off in patches that you thought were accessible only to helicopters and hikers, and it does so with a grace, confidence, and control that are Cub hallmarks. If you thought that light sport was just for budget-minded beginners or for veteran pilots stymied by FAA medicals, you simply must fly a Carbon Cub SS. Check us out at www.cubcrafters.com.